Hi everyone. I've had uh, quite a few suggestions for you guys to try a Fleischkäse. So I was by my Metzgerei yesterday and look what I found. Oh my goodness, I better hang out of that so it doesn't slide off. Can you look at that? <gasps> and it's huge. Uh, it's a little bit too big <laughs> for the for the brochen that I just cooked up, just warmed up. I asked them for a thick slice and she just went overboard, but God bless her little pea picking heart. So I am gonna try this. I have had these before at our work cantina. And I think you all know, you know, sometimes cantina food is just, it's hit or miss. It can be delicious and it can be terrible. I have a new t-shirt. Wait, I gotta show you this. Okay, can you see that? The Antwort. That means the answer. Beer. <laughs> That's for you, Shogaya. If you want one of these, let me know. I'm sending you one, buddy. Um, anyway, if you don't know who I am, my name is Scott, aka Big Fun, and I was born and raised in Chicago, and I moved here about four years ago, and I learned Deutsch. Yeah, but now I make these little videos about my life here in Germany and recently I've just been discovering some wonderful foods. Let's get to trying this. Okay, I have to cut it in half though because it's absolutely way too big. I mean, even for half of this, the brochen, brochen, that's American. The brochen, the brochen, is still too small as you can see here that is incredible okay but this is a pizza flesh queso the other flesh queso i think was normal with onions i think it is vivo flesh queso there's a lady that has a little stand inside the real by karlsruhe and i'm telling you this is good <laughs> It's very, very good. I'm really surprised. But now this one from the Metzgerei, she said that she has this made with like the really good meat. So first I just want to take a little bite out of this without the bun. Mmm. How can you not have this in the U.S.? Okay, while these uh, Fleischkäse and Leberkäse pictures are going by, I just thought I would look up real quick some information, some histor historical information on this particular food product. And the only thing I can really find is that it seems to be a little bit of a thing of a myth and legend, but apparently it was invented sometime in the late 1700s. Um, but there are several, apparently several different stories about where the name came from, Leberkäse, as it was originally made from liver, possibly, or there's a really old German word called Leib, I guess, Leib, L-A-I-B, that means loaf, and Käse means meaning cheese. Um, but there really seems to be no consensus on actually, you know, no real agreement on, on who, <laughs> who invented this or how it came about. So, there are apparently a lot of different variants that I didn't know about. So that's kind of cool because I can maybe go investigate the different flavors and things. Um, but do me a favor. If you know the real history or what, what you were told about this Fleischkäse or Leberkäse, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm really interested to find out about that. That's um, it's kind of interesting. Thanks so much. If I had a restaurant in the U.S. or like an Imbiss stand, you know, like a little... I had a hot dog truck years ago. Built it myself with my dad. But if I knew this sort of a thing existed, this would be a huge hit in the U.S. I guarantee it. Okay. So let's try it with the bun then. Wow, that is delicious. 
Can you see that? I don't know if it's going to focus on that very well. This. So, okay, I believe there's pork in there. There's some mixed up things in there. Let's take a look at it real quick. So, as far as I can see, there's pork, pepper, paprika, um, cheese. Sort of tastes a little bit like mozzarella, but I'm not sure what that is in there. Could be anything. Um, and it's baked like in a loaf. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. So that's, you know, it's like a meatloaf sort of a thing, but not out of hamburger, out of like pork. And this is just freaking delicious. There's all kinds of spices and things in there. Oh, this makes the one at the cantina taste like dirt. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, this is crazy good. Mmm. And on a fresh broken, mmm. Wow. I don't know. This one's not too salty. The one I had at work, very salty. Too salty. Like the kind of salty where, you know, you got to drink like five glasses of water just to feel good. This doesn't taste like that at all. This tastes really amazing. So, Pizza Flash Gaza, thumbs up. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, the other one, um, the normal one, I don't know. I'm going to try, maybe I'll try that one too, but... Let me know what your favorite is. There are there other variations of this? I don't know. Is there like I don't know what 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 is there? What other flavors could there be? I guess they could do anything, right? Onions, mushrooms. You could probably put anything in there. Hmm. Let me know what your favorite one is and where you get it from. And if and remember, if you like this video, maybe just click on the thumbs up thing down there. It really helps me out a lot. And again, I appreciate you guys coming back and watching this video. Get yourself a Pizza Flash Keza today. See ya. What? Ooh. Okay. So.